In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, welcome to this morning prayer where we spend this time with Jesus, talking to Him, sharing our joys, sharing our difficulties with Him and most importantly, having a conversation with Him. And therefore, as we prepare ourselves to enter into this morning prayer, as we prepare to welcome a new day, let us ask the Lord to be with us, to guide us in all that we do, so that throughout this day, we may radiate His love, joy and mercy through all our works, through all our actions and through all our words. But before we can begin, let us take some time to thank the Lord. Very often, we are so occupied with so many things that are happening around us that we don't find time to appreciate the small things that happen in our lives. And we see that it is sometimes these small things that make a difference in our lives. These small things that go unnoticed play a very important role in our lives. And therefore, let us take a moment and recall all the things that the Lord has done for us. Right from the time of our birth, we thank the Lord for the gift of life. We thank Him for giving us everything, all the talents, all the abilities. Most importantly, we thank Him for all that He has done for us that He continues to do for us and all that He will do for us in the future. In a special way, we also thank the Lord for the gift of our family members, friends, relatives, near and dear ones and especially those people who have played an important role in our lives in various ways. We see that some of these individuals have devoted their time and energy and thus have shaped our character, have made us who we are today. And therefore, in a special way, we ask the Lord to bless them and we thank the Lord for their presence in our lives. Let us also thank the Lord for all the experiences that He has given us, the learning experiences as well as the good experiences. We see that we have learnt a lot from those experiences which have taught us many things in life. It has made us stronger, it has made us better individuals. And therefore, let us thank the Lord for all those experiences. At the same time, let us also thank the Lord for all the favours, all the wishes, all the prayers that He has granted. And my dear friends, today, as we welcome God in our lives, let us reflect and meditate on Psalm 47. As always, we shall have a glance at the psalm and then we shall take a look at the psalm in detail. Now we see that Psalm 47 is a joyful psalm of praise which calls upon all the people of the earth to join in worshipping God. Now this psalm in a way celebrates God's sovereignty and reign over all the nations and in a way it encourages every one of us to sing his praises and give him thanks for all that he has done. So in other words, it's a psalm of thanksgiving where we thank the Lord for all the things, not only the good things, but also the learning experiences that we may have had. And therefore, overall, when we take a look at the psalm, we find that it is one that celebrates the greatness of God and at the same time, the power and sovereignty of God over all the earth. And in this psalm, we will notice that the psalmist will invite us to join in worshipping God. He will encourage us to give thanks to Him and praise Him for all that He has done and for all that He will do in our lives. Now we see that the first verse 
begins with a call to worship. It says, clap your hands, all you nations, shout to God with cries of joy. And in a way, we see that this verse will set the tone for the rest of the psalm. And here the psalmist tries to invite each and every one of us to join together in worshipping God, to come together to give thanks to the Lord for all that he has done. Now the second verse declares that God is king of all the earth and that he reigns over all the nations. And in this way, the psalmist is trying to get us to appreciate the greatness, the power and the sovereignty of God. This verse in a way will emphasize on God's sovereignty and his power over all creation. At the same time, it also reminds us that he is in control of everything that happens in the world. Verses 3 and 4 of the psalm continue to exalt the greatness of the Lord, describing how he has subdued nations and how he has placed them under his feet. And by doing so, the psalmist is trying to celebrate the victory of God over his enemies and he also encourages us to join in giving him thanks and praise. Now, verse 5 encourages us to sing praises to God as he has ascended to his throne. And at the same time, it also invites us to shout with joy and with exaltation. This verse reminds us that our worship of God should be joyful and enthusiastic as we celebrate his greatness and sovereignty. Similarly, verses 6 and 7 will also describe God's reign over the nations and how he has chosen Israel as his chosen people. In a way, the psalmist will encourage us to sing praises to God and to give him thanks for all that he has done for his people. Verse 8 will conclude the psalm with a final call to worship. As the psalm says, God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. This verse reminds us of God's sovereignty and power over all creation. And it also encourages us to worship him with all awe and reverence. My dear friends, let us now close our eyes and at this morning hour, let us thank the Lord, let us praise Him, let us glorify and worship Him for all the good things that He has done for us in our lives. Loving Father, You have given us this time in the morning. You have been gracious to us. You have given us Your Son, Jesus Christ, who has cleansed us from our sins. He has taken away all our sins and he has given us new life. Lord, as you have given us the Holy Spirit, we ask you, Lord, to bless us and protect us. For all this, Lord, we thank you, we praise you and we glorify you. You have protected us, Lord, and you have guarded us all through the night. And you have given us this morning hour. For your great love and mercy, O Lord, we praise you, we thank you, and we glorify you. You have been merciful to us, and you have blessed us in so many ways. You protect us, O Lord, and you are always there to guide us all along the way. And therefore, as we reflect on this psalm, we ask you, Lord, to be with us, to guide us, so that whatever we do today, may reflect your love and mercy. And now, my dear friends, let us spend a few moments in silence and let us reflect on Psalm 47. Try to see what thought touched you, what thought made an impression and allow that thought to take root, allow it to sink into your heart so that it becomes a part of you and thus it helps us to radiate God's love and mercy to the world around us.
let us pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen o jesus through the immaculate heart of mary i offer you my prayers works joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the holy father amen let us pray for the intentions of the holy father for the month of may for church movements and groups we pray that church movements and groups may rediscover their mission of evangelization each day placing their own charisms at the service of needs in the world our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the act of contrition o oh my god i am heartily sorry for having offended thee and i detest all my sins because of thy just punishments but most of all because they offend thee my god who art all good and deserving of all my love i firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin amen pray to the holy spirit come holy spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth lord by the light of the holy spirit you have taught the hearts of your faithful in the same spirit help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation we ask this through christ our lord amen pray for priests gracious and loving god we thank you for the gift of our priests through them we experience your presence in the sacraments help our priests to be strong in their vocation set their souls on fire with love for your people grant them the wisdom understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of jesus inspire them 
with the vision of your kingdom give them the words they need to spread the gospel allow them to experience joy in their ministry help them to become instruments of your divine grace we ask this through jesus christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest amen the breastplate of saint patrick i arise today through a mighty strength the invocation of the trinity through a belief in the threeness through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation christ with me christ before me christ behind me christ in me christ beneath me christ above me christ on my right christ on my left christ when i lie down christ when i sit down christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me christ in the eye that sees me christ in the ear that hears me amen the angelus the angel of the lord declared to mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray pour forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same christ our lord amen prayer for saint joseph's protection o saint joseph whose protection is so great so prompt so strong before the throne of god i place in you all my interests and desires o saint joseph do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine son all spiritual blessings through jesus christ our lord so that having engaged here below your heavenly power i may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers o saint joseph 
I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life, and one more day to love, for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved, for your grace and one more experience of your presence, for your promise to be with us to be our God and to give salvation. For these and all blessings, we give you thanks, eternal loving God. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Prayer to the Garden Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, rule and guide. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Litany to Mary, the Loreto Litany Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy Lord, have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us Christ, hear us, Christ, graciously hear us God the Father of Heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, Pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Solace of Migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, 
pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen pray to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly host by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint jetrud pray for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen